Responsive Prayer 2, page 285. That will pretty much carry us through for an entire service. Right. I invite you to rise. O Lord, open my lips, and and my my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make Make haste to help me, O Lord. Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Uh, For the psalm, we'll be using Psalm 119, section Dalit. So that's going to be uh, Psalm 119, verses 25 to 32. We'll be speaking this together. My soul clings to the dust. Give me life according to your word. When I told of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. You made me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according according to your word. Put Put false ways far from me, and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your just decrees before me. I cling to your testimonies, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. I will run in the way of your commandments when you enlarge my heart. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our text for meditation is Revelation chapter 5, uh, the second half of the chapter, beginning at verse 6. And when I, John, looked, and lo, in the midst of the seat and the four living creatures in heaven, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as though he had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the spirits of God, sent into all the world. And he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him that sat upon the seat. And when he had taken the scroll, the four creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the lamb, having harps and golden vials full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were killed and have redeemed us by your blood out of all kindreds and tongues and peoples and nations, and have made us kings and priests unto our God, and we shall reign on the earth. And I looked, and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne and around the living creatures and the elders. And I heard thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was killed to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And all the creatures that are in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing, honor, glory, and power be to him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb forevermore. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the twenty-four elders fell upon their faces and worshipped him who sits forevermore. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Now, I know you missed... Well, you weren't weren't sitting here. I don't know if you uh, watched the past couple past couple streams that I did on, on the previous chapter, chapter 4 and chapter 5, but I was talking about how John uses a lot of imagery. Uh, you probably saw all these things, but there's a lot of images and symbol, symbols within, within these things. Um, wanted wanted to, to try and make the case for it. When people were praising the lamb, the lamb with uh, seven horns and seven eyes, they're saying, uh, 
Worthy is the Lamb that was killed to receive power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. So, uh, the number of perfection. So they're recognizing this Lamb as perfection. Uh, the Lamb is seven horns, seven eyes. This is the perfect Lamb. This is the absolute blameless, righteous, perfect Lamb that it has come for us. But not only this, uh, all, all creation and everything in creation is saying, uh, blessing, honor, and glory, and power be to him who sits on the seat and to the Lamb forevermore. Number four. So they're recognizing, the four is the number of the world. So they're recognizing the Lamb as not only perfect, but that which is perfect for the world, that has come out of the world, that the world needs. So worthy is the Lamb. Hmm. How, how is he worthy? Well, he's the one who has been killed, but yet lives. He's the one who has risen from the dead, the one who, is, uh, who has life in him, life that goes beyond death. And uh, has redeemed the world by his blood, in verse 9 there. And has made us kings and priests unto our God, so we shall reign on the earth. Honestly, I was uh, researching, I believe it was chapter 5. Yeah, I was researching chapter 5 uh, a couple years ago for a sermon. And it was one of the most intense studies I had to do because there's just so much Im imagery and references and, and everything going on. But through all of it, uh, the bottom line is that... Jesus Christ alone is worthy because of his death and resurrection, his triumph over the grave, him being the first fruits from the dead, so that all people might be saved, so that he can actually initiate the end of the world. Yeah. Because uh, that's basically what the scroll is. The scroll is um, the process to the end of the world, or at, at least the end of this world. So that all judgment, all wrath of God, everything that God has bottled up to destroy sin, death, uh, all that can be released. And while that might sound like a negative thing, because some people, when they read Revelation, they're actually quite frightful, uh, or frightened, I mean, by what's going on in there. It's, it's actually a very hopeful thing. Because when we have the judgment of God, the wrath of God being expelled upon the world, that means that sin and death is destroyed. Because, not, because we want this world to be destroyed so that we can have the new heavens and the new earth. So when we're looking out upon all the sinfulness of the world, all the, all the death, all that is wrong, we do want it to be destroyed, and that will be destroyed. We have the promise of that in Jesus Christ. Uh, in his death and resurrection, that all the wickedness will be gone, so that what we have left is the new heavens and the new earth, completely purged of all sin, all evil, and all we have left is the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he promises to us uh, by his blood, the blood of the Lamb. Amen. <laughs> We continue with the Kyrie uh, on page 285. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under conscious power, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into heaven. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord, that my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you. And you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all, all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take, take not your Holy Spirit, spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my, my lips will so praise you. For you have been my help, and, and in the, the shadow of your wings I will, I will sing for joy. joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite Let my heart to hear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I, and I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May, may those, those who love your salvation say evermore. God is good. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their, Be their shepherd and carry them throughout. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen, Listen to my plea for grace. Let us pray. O God, you have commanded us to love you above all things, and our neighbors as ourselves. Grant us the Spirit to think and do what is pleasing in your sight, that our faith in you may never waver, and our love for one another may not falter. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, uh, one God, now and forever. Amen. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the service of angels and men in a wonderful order. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may also help and defend us here on earth. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Let's flip to page 285 for the Doom Prayer. Sorry, 284 for the Doom Prayer, I mean. Gracious Jesus, our Lord and our God, at this hour you bore our sins in your own body on the tree so that we, being dead to sin, might live unto righteousness. Have mercy upon us now and at the hour of our death, and grant to us, your servants, with all others who devoutly remember your blessed passion, a holy and peaceful life in this world, and through your grace, eternal glory in the life to come, where, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life.